Hello, Namaste everyone. Welcome to Sukshma Shakti for Women Empowerment Series. Hope you all are doing well and had a wonderful Diwali. Uh, we have uh, Sudhnya, Sunita, Sangeeta today in a panel for discussion about light and the inner light, the main topic. Hi everyone. Hi Sudhnya, Sangeeta, Sunita. How are you guys doing? Beautiful. How is your Diwali? It's good. <laughs> yeah. So we all know light is essential for us. You know, we get light from sun, stars, and fire, and all that. And plants need light for photosynthesis, and it generates heat, or else we would live in the ice age, right? If we don't have light. And um, light removes darkness, it illuminates the world. We know light is made up of photons. And now we also hear about inner light. People say, you're the light. So what is this inner light? Where is this inner light? Sunita, can you let us know where is this inner light coming from? Yes, Meena. Light is the soul. It's there in all of us, and it, it's in every single phantom. It's radiating through all of us. There are two types of light. One is external and one is internal. I want to share a story of Sunita Ma, how she explained the inner light. Uh, once upon a time, there was a king and a young sage, and the king wanted to test the young sage, and uh, he asked the sage, what strives to the world as a light? And the sage answered, it's sun. Okay, after the sun sets, what will happen? Then the sage answered, it's moon. Okay, after the moon sets, king said. Then sage said, stars. Okay, then after stars are gone, what's next? He said, uh, electricity. So, but all these are external resources. Where is that true inner pure light it is in all of us and it have i mean we can it's in all of us and it's only happening happens in meditation meditation is the highest of a pure concentration and happiness it strengthens our confidence and shines our inner soul through our body and which brings internal light and the light, uh, uh, the light of Atma is the highest and the purest of all the lights, which is not illuminated by any other lights. That's me now. Wonderful, wonderful. Sangeeta, I mean, uh, what are the steps to experience the inner light and how does it feel to experience it? Can you share your uh, experiences through Sukshma? Sure, Meena. So the sun is the only light for our soul's solar system, which is external. So there is a sun internal as well, which lights up our existence and consciousness in all living beings. That light is soul. So our ancient wisdom says the true essence is soul. By cleaning the mind and the body, by removing the hurdles and the blockages, by purification of mind, Sukshma brings and reveals that inner light. That light we can say, that light we can see only in meditation and silence. So my Sukshma experience of inner light after a few sessions with Amma, like uh, that increase the physical energy and the mental and the emotional aspects as well. That is like pure love and happiness, clarity in thoughts. These are happen effortlessly. And the results like uh, I see glow on the face and lightness of the body, bliss in the heart. So we can, another one, we can light millions of candles with one candle. Similarly, when we realize our inner light, we want to awaken the light in all of us. So when we realize inner light, it builds self-esteem, self-confidence and self-compassion. We feel that we can do anything what we can what we want in our life and we feel like we can live forever beyond the body and the mind that experience of inner light is all is so powerful 
that it changes the way we look at the world. And we start to see the world as one. We develop forgiveness and compassion for all of us. We, we realize that we all came from that one source by taking different shapes and forms. And one more example, like a, uh, in old age, we have like a glass, uh, glass lamps. So that glass lamps after um, burning it like upwards, then it like totally, um, it forms like fumes. So when we clean that fumes, the light is like brightened. So in everyone, well, we, all, we all of us have like that uh, ignorance and negativity, lack of spiritual knowledge. So when we do sukshma meditation, it clears all that ignorance and negativity and clean all the six vices so that our light will can bright and we can give the light to all so that our family and the world also it will be look good with the harmonious and the bliss. Very well said, Sankita. Sukshma is the only way, I would say, you know, which helps to bring out the inner light within us and experience the true self. Um, and now we'll know how can inner light help in enhancing a potential? And Sudanya will take over this question for the answer. Well, um, Sankita has really explained it well. <clears throat> I mean, that those are the steps that one needs to uh, learn and Sukshma teaches us those and gives us that great uh, vision and great light that we can follow. Uh, and I think what your question is about the potential. Mm -hmm. By following Sukshma, you automatically create that potential within you. Each one of us has that potential. We just don't know. Uh, that it's there and Sukshma helps us to recognize that, Sukshma helps us to ignite it and I think that is the most important like what even uh, you know it was said earlier that there is light and without light this whole life would have not got created. So similarly that inner light that we have which, um, which as, as just like we need our sleep to get our bodies nice and charged up for the next day. We need that light to have our souls, our thoughts, our life to be always lit and to walk on that path which makes us think that it is not, um, this, is, this is not the boundary, uh, you know, it's not a boundaries that I work with, but I can go beyond. I don't have to restrict myself. I can certainly, uh, I don't have to be always successful. I don't have to always achieve, but I can set a goal. And that's what it gives us. It gives us a goal. It gives us a great path that I always believe that Sukshma uh, has given me. And what I always think is uh, this light can be only ignited if you have the right person to guide you. And Amma is that right person. Um, and, you know, selflessly. Selflessly, she helps us to ignite that light. And we not necessarily we even see her every day. Not necessarily we always go through the sessions with her. But the most important part that she does is she leaves that impact on us. That light, once it's lit, it's like, uh, what can I say? You know, um, um, every expression, every feeling that you go through, every uh, hurdles that you may have in your life, you you kind of uh, find the right, you, go, you can reach to the core because of the way she has given us, again, the word that I always use is the tools that she has given us and the tool that keeps us lit, you know, lit all the time. And um, I, I personally, and I think we all have experienced this in any given situation, if you just close your eyes and do your sukshma exercise or meditation, either, whichever way you want at that very moment. And you feel, ah, I can do this. I can get through this. And I think that is what the potential she gives us. Like she makes us understand that you are you. You don't need to go outside in the world to look for any help. You are your own help. And that light can guide us all through our life is how I feel. 
the inner light uh, keeps us always, uh, I wouldn't say just the word happy, but it just keeps us always in bliss. So that's the potential that we have within us and we can believe, each one of us uh, can believe and Sukshma gives us that power, that strength to believe in our own potential. Very truly said, uh, Sudhnya. Now, uh, you know, reminding me this, a story, I would like to share a small story from uh, Katha Upanishads. It's a long story, but I'll make it a short. So um, it's a story about a boy, Nachiketa, and a conversation between Nachiketa and Yama, the, uh, the Lord of Death. So one day Nachiketa asked Yama, does the self shine? I mean, does, does the soul shine by itself? Is light its essential nature or does it reflect another's light? That's the question he asks Yama. And Yama replies, him the sun doesn't illuminate, nor the moon, nor the stars, nor the lighting, nor will nothing, nor fire kindled upon the earth. And he says, he is the one light that gives light to all. He's shining, everything shines. So the inner light is what you have to look into. And that bonds with the whole universe and illuminates through all sun, moon, yourself and the people around you, the universe, the whole universe. It's a mutual understanding to, you know, realize our true self, the inner potential and the inner light to come out. Mm. So that's the pure inner self is what ancient wisdom calls Sat Chit Ananda. Sat means absolute truth that is a being, true self, which is not changing. And Chit is super conscious, pure consciousness, pure awareness, no thoughts, no judgments, but simple observation. And Ananda is bliss, which is supreme happiness. It's beyond happiness and or pleasure, I would say. So when we realize that inner light, we continue to live in this bliss of pure awareness. We go beyond the dualities of pain and pleasure, happiness and sadness. It doesn't mean that life doesn't pause, pose challenges, but we see everything as a passing cloud. We can face any challenge in life because now we know we are true essence of inner light. We can shed that light on whatever problem we encounter instead of getting chaotic and worried. We can become fearless because we are beyond the duality of mind and body. Because we now realize that we are the pure consciousness. That light within which I manifested into everything else. So realizing the inner light takes us to the truth. This is the absolute truth. There is no opposite to it. No one can deny it because that is and always is. Thank you everyone for joining us for today's session, The Inner Light. Hope you get your inner light, know your inner light and illuminate with it. See you all soon in the next episode.